A Woman Bottling Ketchup at the Heinz Factory, Pittsburgh, 1897. In the early 1870s, the H.J. Heinz Company operated out of a two-story Sharpsburg farmhouse along the northern edge of Pittsburgh. They delivered their products by horse-drawn wagons. Heinz was still a boy when he began bottling and selling and quat. Heinz horse radish and quat. Using a keystone-shaped label representing the keystone. State of Pennsylvania. In 1869 Heinz got married and partnered in business with L.C. Noble. They bottled Anchor brand food products at the Heinz homestead, which became their headquarters. Their quick growth of establishing branches in Chicago and St. Louis caused Heinz and Noble to go bankrupt in 1875. In 1876, Henry and two of his brothers and Quat got back on the horse and Quat and started all over again as F. and J. Heinz Company, getting their head above water financially in 1879, delivering pickling barrels, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1888. The quality of the horses was demanded, in that the company's name was associated with the presentation of the delivery years ago, and then, again in its exhibition hitch of recent years. H.J. Heinz Company had over 150 teams of Percherons operating out of its Allegheny City facilities. From 1894, Heinz Company shipped vinegar and pickles by means of rail. Heinz was one of the first industrial employers of women who worked in a spotless factory. Their physical and moral welfare was carefully guarded, as and quat. The Heinz girls and quat had their medical and dental bills covered by the company. The Heinz hitch was used for marketing and was seen in parades around the United States and Canada from 1984, debuting at the Pittsburgh Labor Day Parade. Dalmatians, one was appropriately named and quat. H.J. and quat. Back in 2002, and and quat. Susan Pickles, and Quat, a bleary-eyed Basset hound, accompanied the hitch. Throughout the exhibition years, the harness was handcrafted by the Amish in central Ohio in patent leather with all chrome hardware and fittings, weighing approximately 74 pounds each set. Unfortunately, the company's officials announced in May 2007 that they could not keep spending. $500,000 annually on a program whose marketing impact was difficult to measure. Fort Myer, Virginia, traces its origin as a military post to the Civil War. In 1887, General Philip H. Sheridan, the Army's commanding general, decided Fort Myer should become the nation's cavalry showplace. The cavalrymen moved in including the 3rd Cavalry Regiment, supported by the 16th Field Artillery Regiment, and the communications people moved out. Fort Myer became home to as many as 1,500 horses. From 1887 to 1949, and horse care was of utmost importance then and now. To do a common thing, uncommonly well brings success. And quote, Tilda H. J. Hines. A motto to strive to live by, here at Eaglesfield Percherons.